Hello and welcome back to MATLAB tutorial 2. In this case we want to look at 2D plotting and also the usage of vectors. Now I think that you should have a basic understanding of what a vector or what a matrix is before watching this video. If you have not an idea what a vector is, maybe search something in YouTube. There are a ton of videos out there um, describing exactly that. And we will get right into the details and don't waste much time on the introduction. So the first thing you want to um, know about vectors is how to do define them. So ma a matrix or a vector is simply defined as A equals, and now those brackets, not the curved ones, but the rectangular ones, uh, 1, 2, 3 equals a vector with 1, 2, 3. If you want to do a matrix out of it, you have to put a semicolon for the next line. 4, 5, 6 and you have a matrix. Now let's suggest that you have another matrix and this matrix is called B. And it's actually the same as A. And you put in A times B and then you get an error. And now I just um, showed you that <laughs> I have uh, not um, thought about um, the matrix concept. You can just um, multiply matrices which have um, a different count of dimensions, meaning that uh, A by 2 matrix can always just be um, multiplied with a matrix which has the dimensions B, A. Okay, so for example, if I make B equals 1, 2, semicolon, 3, 4, semicolon, 5, 6, that was the, the false bracket. Now I have a matrix which has two columns and three lines, and A has two lines and three columns. Now this should work. A times B gives you exactly that. Okay, now there is another possibility in order to do a element-wise calculation. So for example, you want to just um, not go through the matrix algorithm, but you want to go one times one, and this should be the first, um, the, the upper left and upper top, top um, variable in your matrix and you can do the a times b with a dot before the, uh, the multiplication operator and then you always have the matrix dimension must agree in this case you should have a matrix which is rather the same i'll just recall that for you um, you have a you have b they are the same matrix dimensions and you have a times b with a dot before the multiplication operator and then you get it. Here you can see 1 times 1 equals 1, 2 times 2 equals 4. This is uh, highly important because you want to do your um, calculations. In this case, in the thermodynamic problem, I will propose to you um, element-wise. Okay, so let's talk about what we want to do. We had our scheme in the first tutorial about a start of the program, some material properties, some geometric properties, and in here we defined the inner diameter of the pipe. Now I want to look at the dependency of the inner diameter and the heat transferred. So in the end something should come out like heat transferred depending on inner diameter. Now how do I do that? I just want to um, import just a bunch of diameters, maybe from 1 to 10 millimeters, every millimeter I want to implement here. And this I want to do right now. We go back in our program, which we had here. And now we look what we need to change. So the first thing is we imported here a um, diameter with an import. Now we want to make a vector out of it, okay? So for example, one double dot, um, one double dot ten. This means starting from one, 
with the step size 1 to 10, this will create a vector. You can just simply do that here, 1, double dot 1, double dot 10. This gives you a vector from 1 to 10. Okay, so I have a vector from 1 to 10, and um, here it starts. It would get you straight an error because the i is in vector and the i multiplicated by 10 to the power of minus 3, which is a singular value, can always be just element wise. So you have to put in a dot in here. And now all those uh, calculations where the i is implemented will get element wise, um, element wise operations. All multiplications, all divisions, all powers, everything has to be um, done element wise. So maybe we put a halt sign in here and just run it. And what you see is that um, the i is the vector from 1 to 10. Okay. Um, uh, maybe put a semicolon in here that we don't see that again. But what, what I want you to, uh, to look at is that ASA, which is already calculated at this point, is not a singular value anymore, but 10 values. Because for one millimeter you have this um, surface area, for two millimeters this, three millimeters this, and so on. Okay, just be aware of that. Okay, now let's continue. Mass flow stays the same. Velocity, we have different velocities in different um, um, surface areas. So also here we have to put in our element-wise calculation. Okay. Now the Reynolds number has also the, um, the diameters in it and the velocity. So maybe maybe you even could do that with, uh, with without element-wise calculation, but we will do it element-wise, then we are on the safe side. Delta T, you, need, you, does, uh, you don't need to change there anything. But now is the, um, the real magic happen, happening. The thing is that you want to calculate for each diameter the heat transfer. And f to do that you need a loop, a for next loop in this case. For next loop is uh, the expression I know from the Visual Basic. Maybe it's called differently in MATLAB. So I just put in 4 i equals 1, 2. And now this is a bit tricky. It could, I just could write 10, yes. But I don't want to do that. I want to put in num l of the i. Meaning that's the number of elements um, from the vector the i. If I have 10 values, good. Then I have 10. If I have 100 values, because I want to change the step size on a later point, this will get adapted and I don't have to worry about it. Okay? Good, and now um, we want to change every quantity which is calculated in here and as a vector to be dependent on i. So suggest that i is 1. Then the first Reynolds number is looked at and looked at if it's greater than 10,000. Okay, so um, if that's the point, then you have the Nussel number. But the Nussel number always from the first element because you later on you have 10 Nussel numbers for 10 diameters. Um, you have to be very careful what you change in here. Reynolds is, um, is a quantity which has different values for, for the different uh, diameters and uh, the Brundle number isn't, for example. The Brundle number is a single value so you don't have to change that. You would get an error. Okay, next thing, and let's just copy that um, i in brackets, so I, I'm a little bit fast in here. Nusselt number, xi, Reynolds, not Brundle, xi, Brundle, no, diameter, l, no, because it's the same. Reynolds number again, x, l, no. The R, yes, Reynold, yes, Nusselt, O, yes, Nusselt, yes, Brundle, no, X, yes, X, yes, X, yes, 
again and again. Now alpha is also depending on uh, the diameter. So it is also a vector in here. Nozzle, yes. Conductivity, no. Diameter, yes. Q, yes. Alpha, yes. And circumference, yes. Density, no. Okay. And put an end in here. So this, the loop is between here and here. Um, maybe we also put a section in here. Calculation. of um, heat transfer loop. Now I want to save that as a different different file and run that. See if it runs. Okay, it runs fine. So I have Q equals 10 values, but in this case I don't want to see all the values, so I put semicolons in here. Run that again, I should see nothing. That's all okay. Now we maybe um, look at the warnings in here. They're just telling me that the size of the variables, or the vectors in this case, change with every loop. And in order to do um, a better prelocation of the memory, he, he wants to um, prelocate the memory and um, we could do that but um, in this case it runs fine so we just leave that away as the main point of this tutorial is the plotting and the plotting will be happen right now so what I want to plot is a 2d plot and the first value is the x value the second value is the y value so in this case we want to plot the i um, and Q. Q over the DI. And I want to sign the axis. So X label equals, now you have to put in a string, diameters in meters. And Y label equals, no equals, no, just a bracket, equals <laughs> bracket Quotation sign heat transfer in watts. Okay. You could also add a title heat transfer depending on diameters. And that should be it. Run that. And you see a plot in here. Now this plot is consisting out of 10 values and is um, a bit, yeah, uh, coarse, you could say. Um, for that reason, you can change the step size. And if you change the step size to 0 0.1, you have 100 values. And this gives you a finer, finer line. Okay. Now this concludes this tutorial. Uh, in the next video we will uh, look at 3D plotting. Maybe we change another parameter, for example the velocity or the density, and look at 3D plotting surfaces. Thanks for watching and come back soon.